Hi guys, welcome back to another DIY video, a very easy fabric frame. So today I am using some IKEA frames, the Silver Hodgen, and there is the number if anyone wants to screenshot it. I am using some fabric from IKEA which was super cheap, it was 5 euros for 2 meters. Then I'm using some tartan material that I found at home, but IKEA has such a range of materials, you could even pick ones with letters on it or numbers on it and put it up in a baby's room or above your bed or wherever you want. So moving on, I'm just taking apart the frame, just taking the plastic off the outside, and then I'm gonna pop out the center so that all I have left is the frame part, so the gold frame. So once I take it apart, there's going to be a plastic part within this. That is what I'm going to use to stick the material to. So I'm just going to pop out my glue gun. You can get glue guns so cheaply in the range. Mine was 10 euros, not this particular one. My own personal one is 10 euros. I'm using my mum's one at home. So here I just need a little bit of foam. You can get this in any shop. The range I know has it. You can buy it online. It's very, very cheap. So I'm grabbing my glue gun, I'm using the plastic insert that was inside the frame to stick my foam to. I'm just going to fold over the edges. You only need a small bit of foam, you don't even have to use it. I just wanted mine to have more of a poof effect in the frame itself. So just turning it over once it's all stuck, as you can see. I'm now going to cut out the actual material that I'm going to put over the foam. Again, I'm just going to fold it over and stick it down. You can do it all together at once if you want, so you can just add the foam and the material all at once and stick it down. I just wanted to do it in separate parts just to make sure that it was really secure. So I'm just patting it down, be careful because the glue can As you really, can see, really I do have a lot of leftover material on either end. It really doesn't matter the amount that you're cutting out, just to make sure that the front of it is going to look okay. So mine isn't perfect as you can see, but when you turn it over you wouldn't even notice. So what I'm going to do now is just put it into the frame, so turn it over backwards put it into the frame and then I'm going to set down the back of it I actually have mine upside down but it doesn't matter and um, so once you put in the back you just get the little clips that are stuck to the frame and start pushing them down it might be a little bit hard but just get a scissors or something hard to push it down so you're not hurting your fingers and turn it over and you have your fabric frame so I've just gone ahead and done the exact same thing with the tartan one which looks a little bit messier when you turn it over you wouldn't even notice so I'm just putting it into the frame like I did for the last one this one was a little bit trickier because the material was a little thicker. I managed to squeeze it in. So I've just gone ahead and done another flower frame. So I have two and then one tartan frame in the middle. I just think the colours together go really well even though the patterns are completely different. So I've gone and hung them up in a little area above my fake handbag collection in my living room with my sausage and green chair. I really think that this just adds a nice pop of colour, pattern and texture to an area that we can't paint ourselves because we live in an apartment so it really adds an extra element to the room. Again, perfect in a baby's room or above a bed head in your own bedroom. It really just depends on what material you pick for the area. I hope you enjoyed that and if you did I would really appreciate it if you gave it a like and a subscribe.